where border cities have declared states of emergencies as thousands of migrants await the ending of the pandemic era rule no, known as Title 42. Sunrise reporter Cordero McMurray is live for us in studio. Cordero, good morning. When exactly does fi Title 42 end? Taylor, it ends on Thursday night and without an updated immigration plan in place, federal authorities will soon revert back to pre Title 42 guidance. Along with detention and deportation options, this includes allowing migrants to stay in the U.S. while their asylum cases move through the courts. Hundreds of migrants arrived in El Paso Monday seeking shelter at facilities that are already filled to capacity. According to the Biden administration, with the new regulations announced, one policy would banish migrants from the U.S. for five years if they don't claim asylum or are deemed ineligible for protection. Republican Texas Governor Greg Abbott has sent nearly 600 additional National Guard troops to beef up the border. President Biden is laying down a welcome mat to people across the entire world saying that the United States border is wide open. According to the White House last week, Mexico agreed to take back migrants from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua and Venezuela on humanitarian grounds when Title 42 lifts. Today, the first of 1,500 military personnel arrive at the border, not to interact with migrants, but to support Border Patrol. I'm Cordero McMurray. Chris, 6 Sunrise, Javier. All right, thank you so much, Cordero. Well, we want to remind you of our special coverage on the end of Title 42 on Thursday evening. Anchor Clara Benitez and I will travel to the Rio Grande Valley to report on what happens next. We're going to speak with Valley and Coastal Bend law enforcement about how they plan to handle the surge in migrants as well as immigration attorneys.